What's going on? Welcome back to Trending Stocks. Today is May the 7th. I'm going to give you a quick pre-market update, go over some of the hot movers and where big money is gravitating towards today. Before I get into any of that though, make sure you guys hit that thumbs up. And with that, let's get right to it. So starting off, data point wise, nothing really coming out today that's going to disrupt the broader market, as well as the Fed speaker, their topic isn't going to really disrupt the broader market as well. So it is going to be more of a technical driven day. Futures you see slightly green, so we'll just have to watch for that to hold. You do also at the same time see the fear and greed index slowly increasing. So it was 40 yesterday, 41 today. So people's appetite for risk is improving slightly so just we'll have to monitor that aside from that big money is gravitating towards a lot of companies unveiling their earnings and obviously rightfully so right so you had a couple big ones pounds here after hours today you have rivian which i'm going to be live streaming under my other channel you had lucid which i just live streamed as well disney a lot of big companies unveiling their earnings but without further ado let's get right to the actual companies sofi right now is pulling back slightly despite no news no sec filings nothing along those lines there was a forum for submitted yesterday morning which did point out that Anthony Noto did buy 200,000 shares of the stock yesterday so that really helped it go up yesterday 2.87% but because of just the broader technical, so the larger viewpoint on SoFi, that is one of the biggest attributing factors why it is going down today, despite the good news that came out yesterday. Uh, Shorts also did take advantage of the whole scenario of the green day to really double down. So they increased about 2.4 million shares yesterday. 20.42% of the free flow is being shorted. Works out to be 202.69 million shares overall are being shorted. So one point to watch for, especially with today being a very much technical driven day just this 711 which seems to be gravitating towards so far this morning but definitely need to watch for the 711 to hold if not it could potentially retrace back into maybe the sixes which kind of seems stupid if you ask me considering their recent results from their earnings as well as the ceo buying so pretty epic stuff but we'll just have to wait and see what does happen whether this pivot holds or not moving on palantir is getting slammed this morning down 11.38 percent despite relatively good numbers both earnings per share revenue even future guidance was all a beat but what is being questioned right now is just the multiple that is placed on palantir a lot of people are saying it's too high so despite the good results, that is one of the biggest factors that is pulling it down. It's not heavily shorted, so 4.34% of the free floats being shorted, despite Alex Karp kind of bringing up that shorts are really damaging the company and whatever else. So kind of an interesting point. But if you are looking at trading it right now with it at $22.33, it is trading between this pivot and this R1. So watch for 22.13 to really hold today. And then vice versa, 23.57, which... You know what, like if you look at the pre-market action, um, more so or I guess after hours yesterday, it did really flirt with this R1. So I do feel maybe Palantir, especially with all the hype and everything, it could be bought up and go to this gravitate toward this R1, but still take note of some of the strong support and resistance points. Lucid did unveil their earnings yesterday. I live streamed it under my other channel, Financial Journey. It is down 8.2%. And you know what, like their earnings was neutral. Uh, they did actually miss on the earnings per share and revenue, but what the market was really looking for is future guidance and they didn't really give it. They kind of gave future guidance, but more so like not this quarter. So ultimately there's no real reason to buy Lucid right now. That's kind of one key takeaway. I'm gonna do a dedicated video all about Lucid though later today. It is heavily shorted, so shorts will probably double down uh, again today. So 30.95% of the free floats being shorted. That works out to be 268.46 million shares overall are being shorted. So right now with it at $2.79, it is below this R1. So it's now gonna be trading probably between this pivot and this R1. Normally, if a company is down this much, there might be like a value spike up. I can't really see that happening with Lucid. Uh, so it might flirt with this R1 a little bit, but probably it will stick between this pivot and this R1. Like I said, just because of the lack of catalyst overall that they did give the broader market. So that is something to keep in mind. You also do have Rivian up 6.97%. No actual news, no SEC filings. They do have their earnings coming out today. 
but that spike today isn't associated to that. It's actually more associated to Apple, which a lot of people are speculating because I guess Apple is unveiling uh, various items today, but they're saying that they might announce a partnership with Rivian, as crazy as that sounds as you can kind of see right here. So I think a lot of the basis of this is the fact that Rivian changed the date of their earnings. Um, well, normally they're religiously on a certain date, but they changed it and that does coincide with Apple. So this is where people are speculating, saying that it could be correlated. So something to kind of consider. Rivian is heavily shorted, so 20% of the free float is being shorted. And if you're looking at trading it right now with it at $11.17, it is right below this R2. So just watch for this $11.20 to be that pivot point, vice versa, $10.50. 53 cents to be that next strong support which yesterday did bounce off of so again uh, those are some points to really watch for and finally this company did unveil their earnings this morning i do believe so esperion uh, therapeutics tickers espr it is up 12.26 percent this is what they do in case you are curious so it looks like it is based out of ann arbor in the states it's not that heavily shorted so 9.96 percent of the free float you can kind of take that with a grain of salt in the past it looks like it's been very very high roughly 25 percent so shorts have naturally left but if you kind of look at the stock price it's gone it's been very volatile but so far well at least it not as of late it hasn't been all that well but technically uh right now with it at two dollars and 38 cents it is right above this pivot so just watch for 236 to continue to hold vice versa 301 will be that next strong resistance slash target for this company so a lot of money is getting into all of these companies that i mentioned so what is floating your boat today what are you buying why are you selling one final thing i just wanted to share with you as i always do so ai let's talk about that actually so it says uh, rivian is a buy right now uh, it goes over the explanation why it is ubs is a long ticker cohr is a long PRAA is a long and as you can kind of see some of the explanations on some of these uh, companies are associated to uh, earnings and Rocket Lab RKLB is a long so yeah pretty interesting stuff so that is what AI is saying is a buy and uh, everything that I mentioned is what AI or uh, I guess large institutions are getting in or out of. So don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe. One final thing as well, make sure you guys definitely take advantage of this promo. Get some free fractional shares of the MAG7 kick-ass deal. Link in the description below and also comments. With all that said, appreciate all of you watching.